Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're doing good. So this is the third video of the year and so far I'm loving my consistency. So today's video is a hair video just as the title of the video suggests. We're going back to basics, okay? So today I want to talk about how I usually take care of my hair while I'm still putting on my wig or my head wrap, yeah? Because as much as I'm putting on my wig, it's important to always take care of my hair which is underneath the wig. And just in case this is your first time on my channel, my name is Fiona Akini and I usually make um, videos on natural hair, a little bit of beauty and lifestyle, yeah? So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So this video is divided into three parts and it's going to be very short because there's nothing really big or out of the ordinary so the three parts basically are my hair strands my scalp and my hairline yeah so i'll be using around three to four products to achieve my full um regimen in between my wash days yeah so the first thing that i'll be using on my hair strands is a leave-in conditioner from vertica afro naturals and water in my spray bottle and then on my scalp, I'll be using this hair oil from Vertica from my scalp. So let me just say this as a disclaimer. For the longest of time, I wasn't applying oils on my scalp because what would happen is after I've applied the, um, the oils on my scalp, later on, I'll start getting itchy. So I would never apply anything on my scalp. Yeah. But I came to realize the trick is I should avoid um, using oils that are really thick or heavy like um, castor oil on my scalp. So something light will make me feel comfortable. And then last but not least, I'll be using my usual coconut oil on my hairline okay so let's get started okay so this is what you have as of now my hair is still in braids so this is what i usually prefer to have my hair in when i'm putting on a wig or a hair drop yeah so i have uh just short kawaida matutas or braids yeah so this is what you have as of now and I prefer braids to twist because twists can unravel really fast or two can mat or tangle really fast compared to braids so I prefer going for braids yeah so we'll start off with my hair strands okay so the thing is my end goal or my long-term goal is to have long natural hair okay so for me to have long natural hair I have to ensure that my hair is constantly moisturized your hair is dry the ends end up um, breaking in the long run and that's not what you want. You want to retain length as much as possible. Okay, have more of growth on my scalp and less of um, Breakage on my ends. Okay, so less less breakage on my ends and more growth on my scalp Okay, yeah, so I'll start off by spraying water on my Yeah, like so So this is just kawaii tap water So I usually do this like two, once in a week when I have time, okay? So when I know I'm not going anywhere, this is, this is what I usually do. Okay, so I just need like 20 to 15 minutes. I go in with my cream. So basically just my leave-in conditioner from Vertica and you can use any leave-in conditioner that you prefer, okay? So I take in, I take some leave-in conditioner, this much would do. So basically this is just the LCO method, leave-in, cream, and then oil, okay? And then last but not least, I go in with my coconut oil. So you can also go for any other oil that you prefer. Okay, so a long time ago when my hair was longer, I just used to use water and castor oil and that's it, okay, nothing else. But right now, I'm, I've switched to coconut oil because right now I'm using a leave-in conditioner, okay. So if I didn't have a leave-in conditioner, I'd go for something thicker because my hair is of high porosity, meaning that I gain moisture really fast, but I lose it at the same time really fast, okay, because my hair cuticles are slightly open than 
other people's hairstyles who have low porosity hair if that makes sense yeah so i'll take my coconut oil just a little bit of it okay and it also depends on how long your hair is if you have a lot of hair more than i do and longer than i do of course you'll use more products okay so if i have my cleaving conditioner i just go in with my coconut oil because i don't want something really thick i can't use coconut oil i mean castor oil and leave-in conditioner at the same time so once you're done with the hair strands which is the first part of the video i use my <laughs> I use my shower cap okay i use my shower cap because what i want to do is i have to generate heat into my hair so that my hair cuticles can open up and absorb all that content or all that product that i've applied on my hair okay so i just do this for around you know five to ten minutes and then i come back and i take out the shower cap okay so this is just to make the moisturizing process more intense okay yeah so I'll have my shower cap for around five minutes and then I'll come back, we take it out and then we have the last two parts of the video and then we are done. Yeah. So it's been around 10 minutes. So let's take this out. Yeah. So the next thing is to focus on my hairline. Okay. So let me just say this. I feel like my hairline is kind of irregular, if that makes sense okay so i tend to have less hair over here and over here okay and when i look at my natural hair journey from around 2015 up until now i've had short hair twice and that part has never changed so i feel like this is a genetic thing i can't change it and that's just it okay so i have less hair over here and over here okay but that doesn't mean that i don't take care of my hairline i still have to do the needful okay so what i do for my hairline I just spray more water like so this a little bit of water okay so this just being what um doing it on purpose okay or being what's the word i'm taking care of your hairline on purpose okay because you want your hairline to grow okay no one wants receding hairlines okay i'm a lines hairlines that fire back summer <laughs> okay so Again, I spray water like so. And then I take a little bit of the oil and apply it on my hairline. Okay, so you can do this like maybe once or twice in a week, okay? And if you don't like coconut oil, you can still use castor oil, which is really good for your hairline as well. Okay, so I just do this on my front hairline because I feel like that's where it's, what's the word? Um, it tends to break more compared to the other parts of my hairlines, okay? Or compared to my back or my side hairlines if that makes sense okay so for me this is the only part i can i can fear losing hair but not at the back or, or at this on the sides okay so you should be deliberate about taking care of your hairlines if you don't want to lose it okay because it's it's very easy for you to focus on your hair strands and forget about your hairline and then in the long run because you're putting on your wigs or you keep braiding your hair you end up losing your hairline okay so be deliberate about taking care of your hairline okay so fit my that's it you can either use coconut oil or castor oil or whichever oil you prefer okay and then last but not least i will go in with my hair oil from vertica which has shea butter and soy bean oil to take care of my scalp it's not really thick so like i said because it's not thick it will help me or rather it will prevent me from having an itchy scalp okay so you can i can either use this or use my coconut oil okay yeah so i like i also like it because it has a nozzle yeah so it will be easy for me to apply it on my scalp
So once I'm done applying, I just massage it like so to spread it evenly all over my scalp. Yeah, I'm pretty mad this is it. So I only have three steps, my hair strands, my scalp, and my hairline. So I do this once every week or once in two weeks if I'm lazy, okay? The whole process of putting on my shower cap just helps in, you know, make it making the moisturizing process more intense. And that is it. So let me just say this my intention this year is to avoid going to the salon to braid my hair because it means that i'll have to straighten my hair using a blow dryer and i don't want that so i want to avoid heat this year i'm not saying heat is bad but um less of it is better so i'll avoid having heat on my hair this year i just want to put on wigs or head wraps or have my hair out in some kind of style okay so that's it my this is pretty much what i do when I want to do something extra for my hair, okay. Otherwise, if I didn't want it to be extra, I'll avoid that whole process of having to put on a shower cap. Yeah. I hope this video was helpful. And let me know in the comment section if you have short hair right now, or if your hair is pretty much long, but you're in your natural hair journey, what do you do to ensure that your hair is moisturized and you ensure that your hair is growing healthy without any kind of breakage? Let me know the kind of products that you use on your hair to you know make your hair healthy and also let me know what kind of steps you take to ensure that your hair is growing on well or growing up well growing long okay yeah so up until the next video bye bye